Okay. It's more than a day in. I have a lot of clones. I have a lot of light clones. Um, it's. I think I have more than twice as many as I had the last time I attempted a UBV4 challenge. And I brought this up to 117%. Will I even do damage? So last time I tried to attempt this challenge was quite some time ago. And I couldn't even hurt this thing. I don't know, I don't remember how far, how long I waited and tried, but I was not doing well. However, as I said, we're quite a bit more strong now. Maybe I should buy more Shadow Clones. I don't know, let's see what happens. Of course, it takes about, it takes more than 20 minutes between attempts because you have to replenish the Shadow Clones. But it should give me a, if I do any damage at all, I should be able to estimate how long it'll take. This is a quite a bit of way to weaken it further. In case anyone was wondering. Okay, here we go. Nothing. Not a thing. Alright, what happens? Turn one. Was lazy and idled a bit. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, that was a resounding defeat. We'll have to try again later. Uh, hmm. We'll have to try again later. <sighs> All right. I've been saving up GP for quite some time. It's not quite where I want it to be, but I think now's the time. Now is the time. So what we're going to do, I guess we'll bring it to 150. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Uh -huh. Off count by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Should be one more, right? Okay. That was pretty much all that GP I saved up. Well, more than two-thirds of it anyway. But now I have 150 instead of 100. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. 150 million is not enough to survive a blow from this guy, though. Because he hit for 177. <sighs> so we're going to have to let some time pass. If I can survive a hit from him, I can at least attempt to fight back. Unfortunately, it now takes even longer to fill my shadow clones. When I get another 50 million to make it a nice even 200, or should I go for 250? Anyway, when I make the shadow clones larger, eventually I'm going to gonna want to increase my creation count I'm gonna definitely want to increase my creation count some I remember. oh yeah the dimensional well that's only attack power we don't know how good that is because we haven't had a chance to hit him hmm yeah I should probably Wow I haven't become all that much stronger, have I? 
Could I get a slightly better creation crystal thing going? Uh, sli slightly better? That's slightly better. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm beating this guy today. Yeah, we kind of hit our limit for how far we can climb. Guess I'll just put them back in RTI. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. How big? Oh my gosh, these are significant. Hmm. Maybe I should go all in on space dim speed again. Maybe. I don't know. It might help. Uh, anything to push this a little bit more. This is eventually going to max, though. Bonk. Yeah, okay. Eh. I bought more. I've got 26 more. Oh, you know that's going to make a difference now. Mm. Yes, I'm still being stingy with my resets. Waste not, want not, and all that. I've only got 525 of them. I have to be careful with them. I have to save them. You understand? It's important. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, this is really going to take forever to refill now. I don't know, three hours from now it's going to get a little bit weaker. But, is that really enough? Is that really enough? Maybe I need to wait till it's... So it's been. Um, hold on, I'm calculating my schedule and I'm calculating. I'm not entirely sure how many of them I'll beat the next time I. Because I'm not 100% sure when the next time I'm going to be able to sit down and. Why this is. Hmm. But, uh. It's going to be more than an hour. I think I should just put punch them in for 12 hours. I, uh, yeah, I wanted to see what would happen with this on the off chance, so I let them only do one hour. So I could see the result and try to calculate based on that, but I think I'm just going to put them in for a 12 hour run when this one finishes. I could just cancel this one, you know. No, no, this is fine. This is fine. We're actually getting kind of close to, uh... being able to evolve a few things. So... The Magic Soul of Sylph. I've got... I need two of this. Curses. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'll make another one of those. Uh, this is actually kind of close, but no, I need another one of those. Okay, okay, that's that's, that's fine. I just make another one of these, which eh. anyway, we're getting closer. Are you the same way? No, you only need one. Why the hell does Sylph need two? Weird. Did I make too much magic so No, I need to make the soul of the gnome still. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Anyway, those are getting close. However, there is one I can evolve right now. What the hell are you for, exactly? You could be anything. You could be anything you want to be. I could make you an assassin, a rogue, an alchemist, 
A very powerful wizard. Actually, you know what? It would probably make sense if this was a defender. Yeah, its ability should be that it draws the enemies at a higher chance. Like, enemies are, are way more likely to hit this than other defenders. That's what it should be. But it's not. So, I'ma just make you an alchemist. Yep. And I give you this pot. Yes. And I give you well, really nothing else. You're good. I could stick clothes on everything just to gain some small bonuses, but uh, I suppose I could do this for you. I suppose. There you go. I need an auto bash. An auto bonk. Alright, so once they finish what they're doing, I'm gonna stick you to making nothing. Yep, you'll make nothing like everyone else. Hmm. It's. who is it? Not you. You. You would give me. Chocolate. Maxed at six. So it's already maxed. Would you like some nothings? I can only trade 100 a day. How many do I make in a day? Holy crap, I have no idea. Uh, it's a lot. I know I'm not going to run out anytime soon. Six hundred times fifty. Oh my gosh. Should I just make everyone eat chocolate from now on? Should we just go crazy? I have to change everyone's favorite food though if I'm to do that. Hmm, every three hours. I don't even know how many pets I have anymore. It's a lot. Uh Okay, unlocked pets, a hundred? Really, an even hundred with six that need to evolve. Okay, a hundred every three hours, that's, um... Okay, let me see, hold on, sorry, I got distracted for a second. Five, six, seven, eight hundred a day? We could eat eight hundred chocolate a day, assuming we don't rebirth and everything is perfect. I could make six hundred a day, so long as I have that. Plus, we'll still get a little bit of chocolate from the campaigns and things. Hmm. Hmm. And I could run this for at least probably two months, bare minimum. Because we're still producing nothing. Yeah. Let's see. All right, for the next two months, I'm going to make every single pet I have eat like a king. We're going all in on this. And the difference is, well, honestly, the difference isn't that much. The difference, honestly, isn't that big between the two. Yeah, but whatever. We're going to do it. We're going to et the chocolate. Also, I have... Uh, I'll get chocolate out of Lucky Draws, too. I have a lot of chocolate resources now. We shall accelerate all of our pets. They shall grow. Grow, my pets. Grow. Anyway, you don't want to see me do this a hundred times, do you? Ah, alright. So it's been about 11 hours. We're up to 170% here. That only matters if we can survive getting hit. 
And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna find out if I can take a hit and if I can do any amount of damage back. I suppose I may as well. Oh, really? Hmm. What can I say? Progress is slow. I've got 400 black hole upgrades. I don't know, that seems like, like a lot. Uh, well, let's see what happens. So it takes somewhere between 20 minutes and a half an hour, but well, closer to half an hour between each, uh, each attempt. So depending on how far this goes down, we can calculate about how long, roughly, this will take. Uh. Okay, we, we survived the first attack. Okay, that, that's good. An attack spell of all elements and damage the shield by 8 million. Oh, wait, no, no, by 8 billion. Okay, let me see. All right. Supporters healed. Not very much. Okay, the next turn. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How thick are his shields again? Let's see. Where are your sh Okay, there's the shield. Uh, okay. We took out not quite half the shield in a single hit. Okay. So... Um, I'm gonna have to hit about three times before I actually start doing damage. Uh, hmm. Well, I can't really afford very many more Shadow Clones. Hmm. We're only healing about 30 million. Yep, no, I'm just gonna have to wait until he gets weaker. This, um... This may take a little while. This may take a couple days. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's that's the way it that's the way it is, that's the way it is. What can I do? <sighs> Yikes. Hmm. Well, at least I can learn one other thing. How long does it take me to get a crystal up to uh, 30? It's a stat that's not likely to change all that much, but uh, it's one of my options. But I, I think it takes way too long. Way, way, way too long to do. I don't know why I'm even bothering trying. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put y'all back to work in the uh, road to infinity mines. I don't know. Uh, it's not even close yet. All right. Yeah, there's not really much I can do. So, guess we'll just uh, pass the time. I could swap out all my pets. But I don't think any of my pets are really going to be better than the ones I've already got. So, yeah. <sighs> Some of you may already be halfway through your comments. Or depending on exactly the flow and where these things go, maybe the comments were on the last video. I don't know. Point is, some of you may have noticed my terrible error. That I only just figured out, uh, uh, it was in the middle of the campaign, so I didn't want to interrupt them. You know, the Rebirth Bacon is great and all, but since I can't use it on the campaigns, it's like, well, I'm not going to interrupt my campaigns, so guess I'll just let them finish.
Anyway. Point is, I was all like, hmm, let me go fight this again. Hmm. Hmm, wait a minute. Shouldn't it be getting weaker? Wait a minute, 100% power. How did I not notice? Wait a minute. Oh no, let me go read the fine print. No! Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly why I abandoned this challenge last time. I just knew it had been too hard. It was. It, it's. I spent a year not playing the game, okay? Cut me some slack. I forgot... I forgot how this particular challenge, out of all the challenges in the game, worked. And I wasn't paying enough attention to, to, to realize my mistake until I was... Till I'd wasted a few days. Oh well. Shit happens. Let's, uh, go over here and see. I've only managed to get to 25 to level 25 crystals after three days. So I definitely don't want to do this one. Yeah, the reward is nice. But I definitely don't want to do this one. Alright, so... I'm actually thinking about the Div Gen challenge. I think this one might actually be... I should be able to do a handful of them. It's actually getting a little bit difficult to pick what I should be doing. I could also start boosting that rune patch. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But anyway, we're going to try some div, div gen challenges here. <sighs> oh, we made some progress on this. Eventually I'll get this to 100k down, all the way down, and that will be awesome. For now... Uh, here, give me this for a second. Okay, can I... Maybe I can beat one more. Maybe I can beat one more. Alright. Hacha! Oh, maybe not. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's any way I can boost my power a smidge right now, so, uh... Mm, here you go do that for a minute. Alright, I'm just gonna rebirth. Yep, cancel it. Cancel it, we're done with it. Div gen ch Oh, yeah, do that. Everybody ate chocolate. 495 chocolate. That's a lot. That is a lot. And on the rebirth, can I just get the bash thing popping up if I haven't bashed as well? I mean, I don't know. Just some kind of reminder would help. It would help. And now I've got 600 more chocolate. How about that? Alright. Do 10 challenge. Go! So, our goal is simple. We need to bring the Divinity, Ge uh, Divinity Generator up to uh, some pretty high specs. Well, how should we go about this? Well, we got more Shadow Clones now. Not enough to clear that other challenge, but enough to uh, maybe... make this fairly trivial how quickly can I complete it it's gonna scale up every time I do one of course now the reward from the div gen challenge is not that spectacular unless you do all of them but I'm really after the challenge points anyway so you know I don't really care <laughs> what the reward is right now Hmm. I should probably shift everything over here to boost my building speed. Also, let me see. Ah, there's the assembly matrix I'm after right there. 
Gonna definitely want that. Definitely, definitely want that. Let's see. We'll get ourselves a little bit strong. Oh. There we go. Okay, now I can beat a few more. Alright. Assembly matrix. Go! I choose you! As it were. Okay. So now... Hmm. Hmm. It's building up pretty quickly. We'll see how long it takes me. But it's it's already growing quite well. Quite, quite well, in fact. Huh. It appears that I'll be able to definitely complete this in less than an hour, which is a pretty awesome turnaround for 25 challenge points. If I could do all 25, I'd have all the challenge points I need. However, we know it's going to get harder and harder to build this up, so at some point I'm probably going to switch to the ultimate stats challenge. Probably. I'm going to borrow you for a second. I can actually do this now. Before unlocking Might, I can max my power surge. It's awesome. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Solidly in the green. And we haven't even reached the first hour. After a few of these, there'll be more there'll be long enough to unlock might. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. This is definitely the challenge I'm going to be doing for a bit. 50. I want to knock you down, Mr. 50. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is the perfect challenge for now. We're... We're almost done. I can't really think of any ways to speed the challenge up particularly. I mean, eventually we'll get crystals and other things involved, but... I mean, I suppose once it reaches a certain threshold, I'll just be all in on the road to infinity until the crystals are done baking, and then shift over to this. Probably something like that, anyway. But I'll probably be able to do at least... At least a couple more before we reach that point. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like I have all the divinity I need for now. Cool. Alright then. Oh well, what's all this now? <clears throat> Added a UI to the pet village. You can now customize buildings. Okay. Quests to the tavern! What tavern? Is it a tavern? How did I miss there was a tavern? Alright, let's go look! Added a new pet, an assassin in a secret unlock condition. Upgrade weaker bait to stronger bait. Items. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. I don't see a tavern. Hmm. Um, hooray? <laughs> yeah, I don't see any decorations. Um, hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Oh, well. There you go. We'll just continue doing our thing over here. 
Hmm. Oh well, anyway. It's already up to 32. Instead of getting two, instead of just incrementing, it's actually multiplying. It's squared. Which is super annoying. But it's not a big deal yet. I can still complete it within three hours, I think. However, after it does this a couple more times, it's not going to be quite so quick and easy, is it? Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. Food. What do you want? Multiplier? Oh, sure, I can give you the multiplier camp. Alright. Uh, we're, we're pretty close on the gnome. Sylph has a bit of ways to go, but I'll just show progress on that. Just one sec. I'm going to need to go through all this again and sort things out. Anyway, this will do for the moment to just leave it like this. Okay, uh... Let's see... Darn it! <laughs> I'm so close, yet so far. Ah, oh, whatever. Just continue making sweet nothings. How much longer before the owl demands he change roles? You seem like an obnoxious pet. Oh well. Hmm. FO bonus none. None? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid owl. Oh, right! Are you a dinosaur? A very hungry baby dinosaur. It has a habit of breaking everything. Their species lives symbolically with fire-breathing lizards that hatch the carno eggs. In order to gain the protection from them, uh, you mean the salamander? Is the salamander involved somehow? The fabric of space-time is so thin on their planet that really powerful beings often tear it apart and attack. It doesn't like growth campaigns and won't go... Oh my gosh, what is this? It won't use growth campaigns? <sighs> In food campaigns, it eats half the food. Okay. It only gains half growth from all food. Well, how do you make this stupid thing grow? I guess Doobag will have to do the work. It said it eats half food instantly, then I see a minus 300 in food campaigns. I'm like, yeah, okay. It's bad at item campaigns, too! Good grief! Well, whatever. You make it an assassin. Alright, fine. <sighs> More riddles. The fabric of space-time. Powerful bees often tear it apart. Fire-breathing lizards. Well, I've got a fire-breathing lizard, but it's not quite done. The fabric of space-time makes me think it has something to do with this, perhaps? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what it wants from me yet. Hmm. I'll have to th think on this. I will have to contemplate. Oh, shit. Did I ever tell Faith I finished making his owl? Shit. I should probably let him know. That was... That was days ago? Crap. <laughs> Alright. So... So, bunk. I have cleared ten of them. I could probably clear a few more without too much difficulty, but 
they're getting they're getting difficult but not really difficult but i don't know i want to see if i can get you know they're, they're, it's the exponential growth thing i know it's going to become a super pain soon so i keep looking at the other challenges and thinking hmm you know build speed's pretty good no no this is stupid this is dick forever ah stats challenge hmm yeah oh. you know there's this auto black hole challenge how hard would 512 be hmm hmm <laughs> Ah, what about the ultimate challenge challenge, I wonder? Anyway, I'm going to do an ultimate stats challenge. I'm actually getting pretty close to 100k down the board, but we're still a ways off. We're going to do some ultimate stats challenges, build up our uh, rune a bit, and grab some more challenge points. We're, we're getting there. All right, so our goal is, let's see, come on, let's see, universe is created, pet class XP, planet multiplier, pet multiplier, black holes, black hole upgrades, road to infinity temp levels, Attack Unleash Percentage, GP Earned, Combined Pet Growth. Alright. That's a lot of factors. That's a hell of a lot of factors. But. The fact that I've gotten all the way up to 100 P-Balls and can at run all of these at once. Uh, not right away. It takes a little bit of setup, but... We'll have it soon. Certainly helps. Maybe I should be sitting at 60 and trying to get the extra pet stone or the extra ball points. I don't know. I'm not gonna though. Okay. So, current points one. That's we don't have any universes or planet multiplier or anything going yet. But we will, we will, we most certainly will. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes me to complete one of these. Hmm. So, we can say, for the moment, these are 9 hours for 25 points. How many hours does it take me to get 20 from this? Hmm. Also, I appreciate being able to boost up my uh, anteater. If I could boost up his quality a bit more before we start messing around with the uh, new gear, it would save me quite a bit of heartache, I imagine. Well, whoops. Oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, okay, there, fixed it, I think. So, pretty promising. Got 154,000 in just three and a half hours. Uh, maybe I could have optimized a little bit better, but eh, whatever. Unfortunately, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> I can grab a few few more GP, but not all that many. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, guess I'll just set all my campaigns to run for nine more hours. Unless this gets me somewhere. Uh, also, I should feed all of you. They're still eating their all chocolate diet. Very healthy diet, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh. Yep, yeah, no. Guess I'm gonna go to bed now. Ah. <sighs> oh well. So. Fairly promising. Uh, hold on a second. I guess I'm going to take you out and put you in. 
Oh yeah, how are we coming along on uh, those? Hold on a second, we got another thing we need to check. So, the multiplier or GP? I'll just take GP. GP is good. Okay. Hmm. 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 If I could get the rune patch all the way, by the way, I think... Wait a minute, what am I doing? Ugh, I must be really tired. <laughs> Uh, let me focus for one second, and then I'll gather my thoughts and try to speak words that make coherent sense. Which is a difficult thing to do, even at the best of times, but I will attempt it now while tired. <sighs> There's a change in my sleep schedule and how it works, so these are not hours I would normally keep awake, but now I will normally keep awake, I guess, for a bit. Anyway, uh, if I could get this thing finished, I might actually take the ant eater out. I really should give it to somebody else. Probably should give it to some to to, but I I don't know. We'll see who which blacksmith I actually use. But I, I actually this is my highest level blacksmith by far. I think. So maybe I will just use the anteater as a battlesmith for a while. When it's got nothing better to forge. Why not? It's just level 83 blacksmith. Holy crap. The boost that it would give. It would be quite, quite good. And anyway, I might. I might. But I'm probably not going to get this thing anytime soon. I'll have to see if it's exponential as well, like I suspect it to be. Mm. Wow, 175k now. Man, that's we're so close. Man, I wish I could just rebirth right now. But that's not how these things go. Yeah, no sense in running that all night. Nope. Nope. This will just have to be how it how it goes. Anyway, that's what's going on. What have I done? I've done something terrible. There we go. There's no reason I keep mixing these two buttons up. Spread remove. Spread remove. So why would I click remove when I mean spread? I don't know. Anyway, we're in the green. <laughs> we're continuing to build up and go deeper. Um, for what that's worth, I just like having all of these running, all of these operational. And if I can get enough challenge points, we'll keep it that way permanently. Just a nice even spread over all of this. It'll be nice. All right. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. Oh. Well. So. I was supposed to click on the green. And it gives me a square. And so that explains about the tavern mentioned last time. Does the placement of these things do anything? Is it like Legend of Mana, where I have to worry about mana levels? Pro probably not. All right. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 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 Yeah, okay, thanks, I guess. All right, we'll stick a tavern here. These upgrade your tavern to make quests. Well, I need ale, apparently. Huh. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I need to do that.
Hmm. It didn't say it wasn't implemented. All the others did, but this one didn't. Okay. Eh, screw it. I don't care. All right, I need something. That sounds, ale sounds like something an alchemist would make. Uh, actually, I don't think I'd want to drink anything made by an alchemist, because who knows what terrible things they're doing to it. Who knows what experiments they're running upon you. All right, let's see. That's a little bit off. How are you coming along? We're getting there. Almost. All right, let's say we want to make ale. It counts as water. Oh, it's melted ice. Ice and herb. Oh, I see. Five minutes a piece, huh? Hmm. Times a hundred. Yeah, I should probably get more than one guy making this. Once you finish your nothing, we'll, uh, oh, that reminds me. I did them last night, so they're probably, no, okay. Maybe it's been longer than I think it's been. Still don't know what to do with you. Maybe you're related to the tavern. That would probably make sense, I suppose. Yep. I don't know, I can't help but feel it somehow probably relates to uh, V4 on this. Seems like it should. Hmm. Anyway, what I need is challenge points. Yes. So currently I'm about to hit 5 on this. Continue a little bit more. I'm thinking about the others. In particular, I'm thinking about this one, but this one will be super hard. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I guess I just kind of get really bored doing the same challenge over and over, you know? I want to do different ones. Alright. You. Alchemy. Ale. I suppose I don't really need any of you producing nothing. I suppose I could just turn all of you into producing ale. How impatient am I, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably make an absurd amount of ale so that I, I never have to worry about it again and can just upgrade over and over. Probably. In the meantime... Hmm... In the meantime... I don't know... Guess I'm just stuck doing this... Yeah, that's probably good enough. Yeah. Anyway. Clunk. Oh, look at that. Still climbing. Yeah. It's nice being over a hundred pee balls. This is where I like to sit around. But, uh... I really would like to find a way to gather the challenge points faster. I'm really waiting for this. That's going to be, like, what, once I get that, I'll have all the challenge points I need. The problem is, it's about 12 runs out, which ends up being a few days. <laughs> Probably close to 13 runs. Well, I don't know, I guess it depends. I guess it depends on how much longer these runs become. Anyway. Ale, 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 ale. We will make our dwarven tavern.
What, you expect me to beautify this? Okay, fine. There you go. Behold, my concrete slab. Better, better fence it off. N no. Oh, oh my. <laughs> uh, okay. Not, not quite. You gotta... Maybe you can stack them. Ah, there it goes. I see. Yeah, we better... But... No! It... I'm, I'm terrible at this, apparently. Huh. I don't know. I was gonna fence it off, but you know what? I'm just I just can't be bothered right now. Can't be bothered right now. Look at it later. I'll create the Wow, I was gonna make the hedge cube, but I guess I can't. I thought flip would rotate it, but nope. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Oh well. There, we have a tree. All right then. Anyway, this is saying all kinds of things that won't matter until we actually upgrade you. Uh, and that's gonna be a little while. First, we have to pile a bunch of iron on the floor for some reason. Then we build it out of wood. Then we set it on fire. Then we use it as a giant bonfire to cook bacon while we drink. Hmm. And somehow this leads to... Mm? <laughs> we shall see. Okay. So... 95. We're actually really close. Really, really close. Cool. So, I have made... Oh, a sec. I have made a small decision. Uh, I've decided I'm going to do the Day Universe and Day Pet Challenge. At this point, I've already got all of Space Dim unlocked anyway, so it's not like the, the uh, thing I'm going for will make any impact on these two challenges. I can start to see how that... I, I kind of want to do them all at once after having spent that year off just to see how much I could push all of them, but uh, we'll just do a couple. It'll get me closer to having having my goal, and then I can run a few more challenges afterwards uh, depending on how much I still need. Show. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to do the day... Let's do the day pet challenge. You know what? It's been a while since I've done one of those. We'll start with the day pet challenge, right? So, all I need to do is get the highest multiplier on all my pets that I can. Cool. Okay. Oh, also, I've been looking at my dungeons and thinking about it. Um, I'm gonna try fighting the fool some to gather some fool coins. Uh, look at that, I'm already up to 99 just while I'm docking. Uh, shit, where is it? There it is. I'm gonna stick some of these on them. And I don't know if they can actually win against the Fool, but we're going to try. Also, I'm going to take my, I guess I'm going to take my lowest level one, this extra supporter out, and replace it with the Fool. He actually confuses on hit, which is interesting. I mean, he's only level one, so he's not really going to, he's probably, but assuming, assuming they attack somebody else, he should get an attack and maybe confuse the enemy. I don't know, we'll see. 
The important thing is that he's currently named April's Fool so that I can fight the correct boss. Otherwise, I'll I'll have to uh, have to swap back to uh, Taran here and rename somebody in this the April Fool. But I'm kind of curious to see if he can confuse the boss. I think it's worth doing. I think it's definitely worth doing. All right. Anyway, uh, right. So I think I've done everything. So we can just start the bet challenge. All right, day pet challenge. And of course, you guys will want to take a look at. Okay. Day pet challenge. Highest multiplier was 26. Uh, sorry, 28 billion? Let's see. So. 28.245 billion. How far can I bring this up? Our current pet food boost is a 35%. Willing to bet I could do a little bit better. A little bit. We shall see. Now. Hua. Did I forget to... Oh my gosh, what am I even doing? Alright, you guys were all doing that. Uh, symbiotic link is what we need most. I think, I think that's the only one I really, really need is symbiotic link, right? Yeah. So we just gotta get that one. We're almost there. I can put all the uh, everything into it. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So, while all this is going on, I go over here and I say, Begin the upgrade! Press quest rank. Uh, could you... Could you... No? Even resizing the window doesn't affect it. It's just... Minimum rank is F. Maximum rank is SSS. Oh, okay. Okay. Eh, we'll probably read all this later. Let's just see what happens first. Alright. I'm going to put the tavern here and the fishing hole there. Okay. All done. Right. So, I just need to beat a few more pee balls. Wait, have I gotten to it yet? Nope. Need to get a little bit further. Alright, that's fine. That's fine if I do this and I do this okay. further and I do that. All right, and then I go for weather. That'll boost my creation stat. And then I can do this. Okay. Okay. Is that enough? Almost. Close. Here, give me that. Okay. Nah. Currently, this is the point where I reset. Uh, what the moment it says eight, I hit slam the reset.
Okay, there we go. Gotcha, gotcha. Remove all. Put them all here. Yeah. I mean, is there anything else I really want? Anything else that will help build them up? Not really. Yeah, okay. Uh, here. That way everything can gain a little bit, okay? But putting most of it there. Okay. Yes, enough of that. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm about to go to, uh, head out for a little bit. So, I'll just leave things like this, and I suppose I need to set them on camps, don't I? Well, there's no way in heck I want to miss out on the growth camp. However, those are also the biggest ones who benefit the most from fighting shadow clones. We're definitely going to want to run the multiplier camp. But maybe we don't want to run the dungeons. To give them more time for the shadow clones to fight. Hmm. Um, maybe just a couple specific ones I want to run. We'll run this one. We'll run this one. We'll run others probably. Ah, uh, growth campaign is a must. Multiplier campaign is a must. Item campaign, at least the gnome. GP campaign, because Sylph wants to... What's going on up here? Aether? I don't know, you're currently wanting to do growth camps, right? Yeah. Yeah, you keep doing those. Hmm. At least he started with good stats to begin with. And everybody else is just going to fight Shadow Clones. I guess. I want to run more. I hate this. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Didn't this used to give GP? Where'd the GP go? Challenge points, statistic multiplier. Highest multiplier. Oh wait, here we go. Log 2 times GP. Yeah, this isn't worth much GP nowadays. There was a time when it was a big deal, but not so much anymore. Anyway. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Space dim speed. Oh, that's the only thing that impacts here. Oh, well, whatever. 24 hours. Let's see what we can get out of them. 